I'm uh, Mason Martin. I'm 17 years old. I've done heroin, cocaine, um, acid. I've done, uh, well, I smacked a lot of marijuana or pot, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, you know, that's just some of the things I remember. We go to the Outer Banks, like every year he always finds snakes. He would either be on the roof at Yakin or at the tallest point in a tree. <laughs> it's hard to describe me. He's like, he's crazy. He's. He's actually insane. I destroy homes, tear families apart. I take your children, and that's just the start. I'm more costly than diamonds, more costly than gold. The sorrow I bring is a sight to behold. I live all around you in schools and in town. I turn an honest smile into an honest frown. I live with the rich, I live with the poor. I live down the street and maybe next door. My power is awesome, just try me, you'll see. But if you partake, you never break free. It made me feel out of myself. I didn't feel normal, which I didn't like. I didn't like feeling like I did every day. I think the most painful thing that has happened to me was losing my dad. I just hated school. I hated being who I was. I didn't really have any good friends. Sometimes I would seem sad, but I didn't really think about it. Really, that's what ultimately uh, made me decide to pick drugs. It was the best feeling in the world. And that was like at the point where I was like, hmm, like drugs aren't that bad. I never really saw it as a problem until prayer retreat. God is greater, fill in the blank. He's greater than cancer, he's greater than divorce, he's greater than mental illness, he's greater than addiction. On the retreat, that's when he told me his story. Mason got very close to his sister. Like all, everything that he told me was like so much, um, and after that, we, we went out and we smoked. And we came back. And this was before like the last um, like, like worship thing. And we were like, all right, let's take a five minute nap before the service. And uh, we ended up sleeping for two hours. I knew like he was probably gone somewhere like doing drugs. So that's what made me worried because I wanted him to stop. We woke up to people yelling at us, wake up, you're an hour into the service. And we were like, we were like, what? And then we walked downstairs to Chan. My gosh. So we all sat down, no words spoken. And Jan gave us the talk that changed our lives. Jan was like, hey, you know, your sister knows what's up. She told us that Mason's sister was in the service crying because she's not stupid. I went back to the service and then that night, like, I didn't pray as hard ever before than I, than I prayed that night. It's the first time I truly felt God's presence, like, trying to do something in my life. And that night was the night I was freed from all the drugs. Like that, that, that was the night where I was like, like this is it. God just set me free. The 
because he said he was going to give up the addiction. And I just was felt so loved at that time. I'm not really worried about Mason anymore because I know, like, even if he is still having a hard time, I know he can do it and get over that and overcome it, so. There's one drug that is always there for you, which has no withdrawals, has absolutely no downsides to it, and that's God, that's Jesus. And he will help you because he helped me, and now he's, he's my drug. Just gotta take it day at a time, hour at a time. I definitely think I'm gonna win, I'm gonna beat this, and I'm really excited for it. Devin, you think Mason's gonna make it? Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> yeah.